Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig practice session. In this episode, I talk about notes and comments in Bitwig. And there were some changes in the version 4.3 beta. And I think this is worth about uh, making a tutorial. So let's get started. So this is Bitwig version 4.3 and um, there are some old things. Uh, maybe I deactivate my um, cam for a moment. Um, because there was down there on the right side a section that is called Show Project Panel. You see that on the status panel here when I move the mouse over it. Project Panel. In this Project Panel you could um, write in all the ID uh, three tags like title, artist, and so on, where you, um, where all those informations were put in the in the MP3 or flag file or or whatever that is bounced or when you when you bounce your project, and there is all also um, an area where you can put in notes. For example, when you collaborate with other people, this is. In, in my perspective, very important to note down some things, your ideas, your um, what you have did in the last session or in this session, what you want to do in the next session, even for uh, having some education with other persons, you can note down what you did uh, just to document your um, um, your, your your hour or your uh, your last session, and maybe some um, ideas what you want to what you gonna what you want to do the next in the next session. Um, I use this um, really a lot in collaborations and even in, when I'm just doing it on my own because um, when I close a project normally I I just uh, take a minute and think about it and maybe then I note down some ideas uh, why I don't want to start over again to do something because they has only 24 hours and you know sometimes it's gonna um, be very late in the evening and this is a good uh, way to just um, catch your ideas and so you get sure that you that they are not lost so a new thing that has uh, come into here is in the section area of the project panel where you click on this tab on the section tab and um, the, um, as you can see and maybe you already know there are all the scenes from the um, clip launcher here these scenes and uh, in a in a live situation you could click on the scenes and start those scenes for example so that they run or for example you could use the arranger Q markers over here in the arranger and start your song from here with double clicking for example and the new thing about this uh, the the Q markers you may know or not uh, you activate with show Q markers then you see the Q markers uh, you can hide them for sure if you don't uh, like to see them all the time. Wait. Like deactivate this. Or you can put in some new Q markers like insert Q marker, like here. Double click on the untitled and say hello world. And that's it. So now you have here in this section, hello world. So this is not so something new, but something that is new is uh, these icons. I think I didn't notice them in earlier versions. So you can collapse all those sections. So this is very clean section, or you just want to see the launcher scenes and not the queue markers, or you just want to see the queue markers and not the launcher scenes. Um, this is really nice and um, what they what Bitwig added in 4.3 is like these little um, icons and if you click on that you see you can put in some notes for the scenes. So there's a note for scene one, a note for scene two for example and it just can go on like putting some more notes on other 
scenes, for example. And the same goes, goes with um, the arranger queue markers. I collapsed this whole section right now. There's also this talking bubble. And you click on that and now you see that there are some notes that I took with all those cue markers. For example, the hello world. What is a galaxy and a fediverse? For example, can put that in and now I have put a comment on my hello world um, cue marker. And you could even put uh, something like lyrics in there because when your when your song starts with lyrics in here, for example, you put the lyrics with Q markers in your song, so you can uh, have, a, have a way to plan your lyrics with your song. For example, it's a really great way to just um, add some notes or document something and for this um, section of your song maybe um, where you don't have a um, we don't have a solution for that and uh, you note down that you want to ask some somebody that you can reach i don't know in two weeks or in, in the next day or in some hours and so uh, you don't forget what you want to ask and you can put that on the section where you want to do that thing, for example. And um, those um, texts, you, you see them as well in the inspector panel. When you open the inspector panel, for example, the whole Q marker thingy. On this one, you can edit it here directly without um, opening on this side or having all these information, all this text on one side. You have to search for that. You just click on the GUI on here and then you can add some text or delete some or whatever. Same with the scenes. Just click on the scenes and on the sub scenes you can do that as well. I didn't do that right now. Just did it, uh, did it on the top level. So you have a um, great way to document a lot of things or note down a lot of things, um, ideas and stuff. So um, you won't lose any idea in the future because there's everything on one place, not on a separate um, piece of paper or on a separate uh, file somewhere on your file system or in a different um, program or, or something. There's everything inside the DAW and that's really great. Another thing what, what you can do on, you can comment on tracks. So uh, this is a group track. You could comment here on, a, on the group track, for example. The name of the uh, group track is separate. Or you could uh, comment something or note down something down on a instrument or audio track, and um, there you can um, write down some other stuff. You can uh, name this track like you could name this before. Uh, let's say, uh, oops, polar bear. Oops. Synth. So this track is Polar Bear Synth. Here you can um, name your po um, polysynth, or God, Polar Synth, <laughs> like Polar Synth. And this is a little bit different as well because um, in previous versions there was uh, just one text field where uh, Polar Synth was written and then you overwrote it. I don't know if this is the correct uh, term for the past past tense. Um, and now um, Bitwig put some new nice icons in there. I like I like that with the little description. What is it? What you have down here? So the whole update is a really great um, notes and comments update as well. Besides the other really great fantastic devices like the um, Convolution Reverb, the Delay Plus. I love the Delay Plus and uh, the new um, Polymer Union device. I don't think I, I don't know if I if I already updated this template, but there it is. The Union device. Um, there will be 
there will be uh, another tutorials about those devices in, in a deep dive. So um, now you're prepared to note everything down in your project, in your DAW. And this is a wonderful, um, nice update. And this is worth of a separate tutorial. So I did one and hopefully you like that as well. Documentation is always good because we are no machines. We don't remember everything after maybe <laughs> after sometimes some hours or days or weeks or even years. So I hope you liked that um, episode and I hope you subscribe to the channel. Um, I love when you um, comment, or give some feedback, maybe you have some other nice ideas what you can do with the comments. I would love to hear about that or uh, share the videos. It would be very nice. And I hope um, I see you soon again. Stay healthy and ciao, ciao.